Welcome, everybody, to the 2017 USA Gymnastics Hall of Fame. Thank you all for being here. Let's give everybody a big round of applause, our inductees. This is an awesome class. I was just looking over the, the list. Pretty, pretty amazing, the, the people they inducted today. It's an honor to be up here. I'd like to give a shout out to the woman that put all this together, Erica Coven, who does a great job with this event. Thank you so much, Erica, for all your hard work. We'd like to start by uh, recognizing a few people. First of all, I'd like to uh, give a shout out to the chairman of the board, Paul Perilla. Big round of applause for Paul. <laughs> Chief Operating Officer, Ron Gallimore. Where's Ron? There he is. Our National Gymnastics Foundation members, Jim Morris, Kristen Allen, Gary Anderson, Keith Douglas, Tina Ferriola, Larissa Fontaine, Nastia Lucan, Conrad Voicinger, and Sally Weaver. A big round of applause for all of them. I'd also like to recognize our sponsors here of the USA Gymnastics Hall of Fame, Steve and Nora Capper from A1 Awards, Frank Hancock from Sports G, P&G, AT&T, Hershey's, GK, Thorne, and KT Tape. Big round of applause for all their support. We also have with us tonight the committee that uh, picks all this and makes it all possible, and uh, we like to recognize them, and as we recognize them, please walk up and take your seats to get ready for the ceremony. Tom Cole. Ellen Nimeschick, Carl Hager, Dominique Dawes, Dan Gill, Jay Thornton, and Bob Meyer. Come on up, big round of applause for our committee. I'm sure we also have past Hall of Fame members in the room here. We'd like to take a, thing, uh, take a minute to recognize them. If you're a Hall of Fame member, please stand up so you can be recognized and we can see all Hall of Fame members in the room. Please stand up. Right. We're going to get uh, right into it here. This first inductee made history here in this city, Anaheim. It was amazing to watch her come in and help Team USA. Chelsea Memel. Chelsea Memel. Only the third U.S. woman to achieve world all-around gold, Memel earned a total of six world medals and an Olympic silver medal during her impressive competitive career. As a member of the 2003 World Championships team, Memo led Team USA to their first ever World Team Gold Medal. In 2005, Memo made history by becoming the first U.S. woman to win the World All-Around title since Shannon Miller in 1994 and earned two silver medals in the event finals on the uneven bars and balance beam. At the 2006 World Championships, Memo's performance in the team final was instrumental in the USA's Team Silver Medal. Memo was named as alternate to the 2004 Olympic Games and in 2008 Olympic Games, she was a vital member of the women's Olympic team, when despite a broken bone in her ankle, was able to perform on uneven bars, which led Team USA to earn their second consecutive Olympic team silver medal. Memo continues to play an important role within the sport as both a coach and a brevet rated judge. She served as an official of the 2016 P&G Gymnastic Championships and the 2016 U.S. Olympic Trials for Women's Gymnastics. Memel currently resides in Wisconsin with her husband, Corey, their son, Dashiell, and is expecting her second child this fall. Ladies and gentlemen, Chelsea Memel. Thank you. Um, it is 
such an honor to be here and to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. It is such incredible company to be in um, and to be presented by um, Dominique Dawes just makes it even better. Kind of looked up to her a little bit, so <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, don't get nervous for this kind of stuff. Um, the two biggest reasons I'm standing here today are my parents. Oh my gosh. They shouldn't let a pregnant shouldn't let a pregnant lady do this. Um, Andy and Janelle um, both were gymnasts and introduced me. Maybe someone should come and read this for me. Both were gymnasts and introduced me to the sport that I instantly fell in love with. And I can't thank them enough for the support that they gave me throughout my entire career. Um, and it, it's amazing to be back in Anaheim where it really all began for me at, at the World Championships. Coming together as a team and winning the gold in 2003 um, is what made me fully set making an Olympic team as my goal. Um, it was always a dream, but I didn't fully commit to training so, so hard to make an Olympic team until after Anaheim in 2003. So to be back here and to be inducted um, in Anaheim is, is really incredible for me. So again, I can't thank my parents and my family for the support that they have given me. And um, thank you to USA Gymnastics for the chance to compete and represent USA Gymnastics at World Championships and Olympic Games. Just made history. That was five people up here accepting that award. Unbelievable. All right, on to our, our next inductee, Miles Avery. Miles Avery. Avery was a member of the men's coaching staff at four Olympic Games and served as head coach of the Ohio State Buckeyes men's gymnastics team from 1998 to 2010. He's been the personal coach of numerous world and Olympic team members and medalists. His impressive list of athletes include three-time Olympian and five-time world medalist Paul Hom, three-time Olympian Blaine Wilson, two-time Olympian Morgan Hom, 2008 Olympian and 2004 Olympic alternate Raj Bahabzar. In Avery's 13 years as head coach at Ohio State University, he led the Buckeyes to the 2001 NCAA title and five Big Ten championships. He also produced three NCAA all-around champions, nine NCAA event champions, and 22 All-Americans. Miles has earned numerous awards and accolades during his career, which include three-time NCAA Assistant Coach of the Year, 2001 NCAA Coach of the Year, five-time Big Ten Coach of the Year, and two-time USA Gymnastics Coach of the Year. In 2015 and 2016, he was the oldest city finals qualifier on NBC's America Ninja Warrior. Avery is currently the owner of Osega Gymnastics and resides in Asheville, North Carolina with his family. Ladies and gentlemen, Miles Avery. Chelsea set the bar kind of low, so hopefully <laughs> we can do all right. But, but it is, it's humbling, and it is very emotional to, to be up here for, with a, you know, a sport that you've dedicated your life to, and you really, really have fallen in love with it, and you still, for me, I still have that love affair with our little boys and little girls that, that I coach daily. So I'm an inner city kid from Philadelphia. I think I did all right. Well, I certainly would like to thank the, the committee for this honor, 
and uh, certainly um, for, for the, the induction and for all of the inductees of this 2017 class. And uh, so much I, I thank God for putting people in my life, especially other Hall of Famers that have been in, instrumental in, in me being up here today. My college coach, Fred Turoff, Hall of Famer. <laughs> the incomparable Avery Grossfeld, part of my life. Peter Corman. And my Olympic coaching partner, Kevin Majika, sitting right over here. Thank you. Thank you all. But for me, especially someone uh, that, has, uh, that I really learned a lot from, I fell in love with coaching. And I want to say thank you, Bruno Klaus, for all that you did and still do for me. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank all of the athletes that, that I've worked with. Uh, in private clubs like Osega Gymnastics, my club there, Temple University, East Stroudsburg University, The Ohio State University, and especially the U.S. national team members and the Olympians uh, that I've worked with. I help coach. Thank you um, just for letting me be a part of their journey. Thanks to all of my extended family, but my dad, Walter Avery, sitting right here, he and my mom certainly raised all of us siblings. <laughs> Three brothers and sisters, a lot of, lot of siblings as part of, part of that raising in inner city Philadelphia. But, you know, they raised us to work hard for what we wanted and always do the right thing. Um, so thank you. Thank you, Dad. My brothers and sisters, all of them, um, as we all grew up and we're still a close-knit family. And some of my brothers and sisters and uh, nieces and nephews, all of them are here. But I'd like to thank my brother Walt, my sister Linda, my brother Rick, my brother Brian, who are here today, and my sister Celeste and Dee, who aren't here. Thank you. Thank you for just being a part of the journey. And, and to my beautiful wife, partner, my biggest cheerleader, Monica, back there. Thank you very much, Monica. <laughs> my children, Byron, Stephanie, Trey, Keela, Kayla, Madison, um, just for their love and support. And we know how children sometimes are in these families that you travel so much and you're always gone. Um, they sacrifice a lot, so I really appreciate their love. Now, some gymnastics people that many people sitting here won't know about that I feel I have to thank and are really instrumental in me being up here. A guy named Wes Southall, he was a Philadelphia gymnast, the first person I ever saw gymnastics inspired me to, wow, I want to do that, that looks pretty cool. And it wound up, um, you know, a, a life's work. My high school coach, Glenn Simpson, thank you. A guy who invited me into the gym, Mark Suje, who isn't here, but he just invited me into the temple gym. I say thank you for that. And last and certainly not least, um, my, my college assistant coach, he's sitting right here. Thank you, Chris Facilio, for being here. Chris, you know, he is the man that I give the most credit for becoming a coach and inspired me to do what he did and impact kids' lives and give them so much. And... And I just said, wow, I'm going to change paths in my life, and I want to do for kids what he did for me. So thank you so much, Chris. Thank you very much for this honor. All right. Moving on to our next inductee, Mihai Breschen. Mihai Breschen. Breschen served as the personal coach of Alicia Sacramoni, a 10-time world medalist and an Olympic silver medalist, and Alexandra Raisman, a three-time Olympic gold medalist. Sacramoni and Raisman both served as team captains at the Olympic Games. Raisman is a six-time Olympic medalist and was the most decorated U.S. gymnast at the 2012 Olympic Games in London where she earned a total of three medals and clinched three additional medals at the 2016 Olympics. With Brestian as their coach, Sacramoni and Raisman have an impressive combined total of 21 world and Olympic medals. Brestian has served as a member of the U.S. women's team coaching staff at three Olympic Games and numerous world championships, including the 2007, 2011, and 2015 world championships, where the U.S. women's team earned gold. He is a three-time USA Gymnastics Coach of the Year recipient. 
Raised in Romania, Brestian attended Timișoara University, where he earned his degree in physical education sciences and coaching school in Bucharest. He went on to serve as national team coach for both Romania and Israel. He is the owner of Brestian American Gymnastics and resides in Boston with his wife Sylvia and son Radu. Ladies and gentlemen, Mihai Brestian. I am used to the picture after, you know, but now we need to change. Usually, like you know, the coaches, they are recognized later. We are all the time behind the athletes and all the time on the second page. This time I'm so lucky being in the front page today. And I want to thank to the, you know, committee, was the nomination committee putting me here. I'm so proud to be here today. You know, I'm proud to be part of the best system in the world. And uh, every single time when I'm looking back, I'm looking, I have so many people, they're helping us. And including, you know, looking back to what you can't do it, you never can do it by yourself anything. You all the time, you are surrounded with, for the good people in order to succeed. And I was so lucky in my life, having good mentors. I'm looking back, Martin Bella, what well, they are very, Helpful for me professionally. And we thank you them for what we are today here. I want to thank you a lot to my athletes. Well, they are the best athletes in the world. And doesn't matter how good coach are you. Doesn't matter how smart are you. If you are not lucky, how I was lucky, to find these athletes and they don't listen to you, we never can make it. This is why I am thankful for them being so good one. I wasn't that lucky because if I can put these two peoples together, it's everything you want to have like an athlete, like a coach. It's the best ever. Hardworking, smart, beautiful, and I look at them today, really beautiful. You know, it's stunning how beautiful they are. And I'm so proud of that. No. Three, three Olympic Games, being captain of the national teams, being multiple times sport athletes, you no know, sport women of the, of the year, athletes of the year. All this nomination, I think it's coming from behind, from the way they are grow, from the education they go home, from their parents and their family, from the gym, from the coaching, and I'm so proud of that. Because they dedicate themselves to the national team and to the USA Gymnastics program, and I'm proud of that. Surrounding about them, I thank you them again and again, because we tell them we cannot do it. Like I say, we have behind, we have good mentors, we have good athletes, but also we have our private life. And without that support, what we have from home, we never can survive. Because every time you go home, you need to explain why you stay that much in the gym, why you travel that much, why you don't support. Then you need to have somebody holding you when it's good or bad. And I have very lucky, very, very lucky again. Like today, fourth time I, I say, I'm lucky, I'm lucky, I'm lucky. I'm really lucky. Because 37 years ago, I get married with somebody supporting and helping. And that's, I don't know how to tell you. It's the most, the hardest working person. And without these two, while well, they are hardest critics for me, they never forgive me for anything but they are the best supporter I ever had. And anything I decide and anything I want to do it. It's my wife, Sylvia, and my son, Radu. I'm so proud of them. And I want to thank them for everything. Thank you to everybody being here with me. It was a pleasure for me to work for you and to work with you. Every day, one of you make me happy. Just asking me how you feel. Make me really happy every single day. I have a pleasure to answer to your question, to share with you everything, to ask for you, to get asked questions for me. Really, really proud of that. Thank you again.
Okay, that was awesome. I mean, I think you should do a book on tape because it just made me want to drive and be happy. <laughs> unbelievable. Um, our next inductee, this guy was unbelievable to watch. I think we nicknamed him Buddy Lee. I think John Roethlisberger named him that because he was just like an action star in, gym, in the gym. Sean Townsend. Sean Townsend. Townsend was a member of the 2000 U.S. Olympic team and a member of three World Championships teams. At the 2001 World Championships, Townsend earned the gold medal on parallel bars and became the first U.S. male to earn an individual gold medal since 1979 and helped his team bring home the silver medal. A Sullivan Award finalist, Townsend captured four gold medals at the 2001 U.S. National Championships. In 2002, he won his second straight U.S. Parallel Bars crown and was a member of the men's 2002 World Championships team. Townsend served as a U.S. men's national team member for 10 years. During his tenure, he represented the United States at numerous international competitions, which included appearing in five American Cup and five World Cup events. Townsend clinched his first World Cup medal by capturing bronze on the floor exercise at the 1999 Paris World Cup, and he was the parallel bar silver medalist and still rings bronze medalist in 2001. Townsend added three additional World Cup medals, one silver and two bronze to his resume in 2002. Additionally, he claimed parallel bars bronze at the 2006 Glasgow World Cup and placed second on the horizontal bar at the 2007 Paris World Cup. In total, Townsend garnered eight World Cup medals. Today, Townsend remains highly active in the sport as both a club owner, coach, and gymnastics educator. Townsend owns Pearland Gymnastics Academy in Pearland, Texas, where he resides with his wife and two children. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Townsend. Well, thank you everybody. Um, I'm blessed and honored to be here. Um, it's been nine years since I officially retired. Uh, they gave me that nickname, Buddy Lee, because I'm always fast in the gym. I think I had the record for getting through uh, assignments in less than 45 minutes sometimes in the gym. But um, I'm blessed to be here, like I said, and humbled. Um, it's been nine years since I've been retired. Um, I had a goal when I retired, and that was to focus on my family. And my wife and, and son are here today supporting me. Um, I thank my wife for supporting me through all the years that I traveled over 20 countries. And you know, as in the gymnastics community, it's hard on a relationship to travel without your spouse all the time. And I wanna thank my wife for supporting me. And um, my little four-year-old uh, Action Jackson over there is here to support me. Uh, hopefully he can. <laughs> hopefully he can follow my footsteps, not saying gymnastics, but hopefully uh, whatever he chooses to do, I'll support him. Um, I'm a gym owner now, uh, not Pearl Lance, Pear Land Gymnastics Academy, uh, South Houston in Texas. Um, yeah, since I retired, I, ha I had new goals. You know, I, I said, just because I'm a world champion, I can't just give up on life. And so um, I told myself, let's set some new goals for yourself. And um, I became a family man, gym owner. Um, I host my own invitational now, the Townsend Cup. And then I'm also a judge, so I try to stay very active in the community. Um, thank yous. Um, I started gymnastics by watching the 8-8 Olympic Games, and I saw this guy named Valeria Lewikin, who is my, my idol. Um, I was like, Dad, I want to do that. I want to be just like, you know, Valeria Lewikin, just doing triple backs and all this cool stuff. And I was always known for doing all the high tricks. I wasn't known as the cleanest gymnast, but um, that's something that uh, my coach, Kevin Majika, tried to fix throughout my career. Um, I want to thank my dad. Um, he uh, put me in gymnastics, and... He had to clean the gym in order to uh, pay my tuition sometimes. So thank you, Dad, for, for doing that for me. Um, I want to thank all my Dallas family that supported me when I moved from Houston to, I mean, from Dallas to Houston to train when I was only 15 years old. Uh, moved in with um, my first coach, Ron Harper, who I thank him uh, for being there for my first 15 years of, of coaching. And then uh, we moved with uh, Houston and Kevin Majika, 
And then um, I lived with the uh, Thornton family. So I want to thank the Thornton family for all their support. They're not here today. Um, and to the coaches, obviously I've mentioned them more than once, but uh, Mr. Kevin Majika, 15-time head coach of the Olympics, just kidding, three-time head coach of the Olympic Games, and um, he was like another father to me uh, inside the gym. And um, thanks, Kevin, for everything he did for me, planning, scheduling, made me the man I am today. So thank you. Um, and Kevin, always known to have the best assistant coaches ever. He always had amazing coaches. He brought in from, you know, China, Japan. So I'll name some of those guys. Mr. Uh, Nori EY, uh, Rustam Sharapov, uh, Alex Shinikov, Zhao, uh, Zhao Huan, um, and then all the other coaches I had, Brian Babcock, um, that helped me throughout my career. I think you had about 20 assistant coaches, Kevin. Uh, I can't name them all, but um, all the coaches that helped me, thank you, that aren't here today. Um, I want to thank the gyms that I started at, Aerial Works Gymnastics in Dallas for supporting me uh, and, my, and my dad and my family. And I also want to thank Houston Gymnastics Academy for, um, after I retired, Kevin said, you always have a job here. And I was like, thank God, because I might need that for a while. Um, but I became the head coach there and ended up moving on and opened my own program in Pearland, like I said. And I'll end with the story after I uh, want to thank all my gym masters teammates who are here today. Raise your hands. Um, uh, gym masters, I think we produce, what, Kevin, 20 national team members and 50 world team members, but the numbers is way up there. So, uh, Kevin, good job with the gym masters history. And then, uh, you know, last I want to leave you guys with kind of a, a story, and that was about what happened after 9-11. Um, obviously, it was a tragedy, and we got a phone call after that happened uh, the next day, kind of from, I think, Ron Gallimore, where are you at? Is he in here? Ron? Right there, right there in front. Um, I think it was him that, that kind of told us, hey, we might not be going to the world championships in, in Belgium for safety reasons. And um, we were like, oh, man, that, that sucks because I was national champion. I was primed. I was internationally peaked. I was ready to perform and, and show the world who Sean Townsend was. And then um, it was kind of like, oh, man, we're not going to world championships. And so I think it was not even three or four days later after we heard this news that we decided, okay, we're going to go. We're going to show these other countries, you know, we're not scared to travel. We are America. We're proud. And um, we lost our courage during that 9-11. And I think that we gained it back in 2001 when the team uh, got the silver medal for the first time since 1979. And um, uh, I want to congratulate all those guys that, that were on that team. I think Brett McClure, you're back there. Um, I think that team... <laughs> I think that team brought back the, the hope and courage of the Gabrielle Douglas. As a two time Olympian and three time Olympic gold medalist, Douglas was the first African American to win the Olympic all around title. After helping the United States to team gold at the 2011 World Championships, she went on to earn the all-around gold medal at the 2012 Olympics, where she and her teammates won the team gold medal. In 2012, she was awarded the Associated Press Female Athlete of the Year and Women's Sports Foundation Sportswoman of the Year. After a two-year hiatus from the sport, Douglas returned to capture the silver all-around medal at the 2015 World Championships and assisted her team in obtaining the team gold medal. She made history at the 2015 World Championship when she became the first female reigning Olympic all-around champion to return to the event and win an all-around medal since 1981. The following year, she won the 2016 AT&T American Cup and captured the City of Gisolo Trophy all-around and team titles. During the 2016 U.S. Olympic team trials, Douglas became the first U.S. Olympic women's all-around champion to make a second Olympic team and the first reigning champion to return to the Games since Nadia Comaneci. As a member of the Final Five, Douglas helped the women win USA's second straight Olympic team gold medal. Currently, Douglas resides in Los Angeles. Ladies and gentlemen, Gabrielle Douglas.
Sean Johnson East. The 2007 World All-Around Champion, Johnson won four medals at the 2008 Olympics. Johnson's 2008 Olympic achievements not only earned the U.S. their second straight Olympic team silver, but made history by making her just the second U.S. gymnast to win an Olympic gold medal on the balance beam. Johnson's senior competitive career began in 2007 when she earned the all-around title at the 2007 Tyson American Cup. At the 2007 Visa Championships, Johnson won three U.S. titles, taking the top spots in the all-around, balance beam, and floor exercise competitions. She concluded her impressive 2007 season at the World Championships where she helped Team USA to the team gold medal while collecting individual gold in the all-around and on the floor exercise. Johnson won her second senior U.S. all-around title at the 2008 Visa Championships and was the all-around champion of the 2008 U.S. Olympic Team Trials. Johnson took a two-year hiatus from gymnastics after the 2008 Olympics, returning to competition in 2011 where she and her teammates earned team gold at the Pan American Games and she earned the silver medal on the uneven bars. In 2009, Johnson appeared on and won ABC's Dancing with the Stars, was the recipient of the 79th AAU James E. Sullivan Award, and was awarded an SP for Best U.S. Female Olympian. Currently, she resides with her husband Andrew and serves as a motivational speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Johnson East. It is really nerve-wracking being up here. <laughs> um, thank you. This is an incredible honor. Um, I just want to start out by thanking my parents and my coach. They're the ones who believed in me more than anybody my entire career. Um, to USA Gymnastics, one of my favorite memories going through this entire process was, um, I don't know if you know Chow, but he didn't know much about USA Gymnastics when he first moved here and started his program. So. When I got to level 10 and wanted to qualify to elite, he didn't, he didn't even know what it was. Um, I remember we showed up to my first elite qualifier and he had YouTubed or Googled what the elite qualifying routines were. And so when I went to compete, I was so excited. I was 12 years old and I was like really confident. And I went through my first like, comp or, like routines and <laughs> I saw the judge going over to Chow and talking to him and having this really serious conversation. And he kind of came over to me and he's like, well, Evidently, those routines are from like 20 years ago. <laughs> so <laughs> um, so I, I remember, I just remember the whole USAG community really helping Chow. I remember at that competition, the judges all came over from every event, sat with me on the floor, took their shoes off, actually taught me the new routines, let me redo my routines in competition. And I remember qualifying, but I mean, through the entire, you know, my entire career, it's been a learning process for me and my coach. And... I'm just humbled to even be standing here. I mean, I, I bombed my elite qualifier by doing 20-year-old routines, and I somehow am standing up here. Um, so I want to thank USAG. Just, you guys have been incredible. You've given me this opportunity. I want to thank my teammates. Alicia and Chelsea are here today, and it's so cool to be back in the same room with everyone. I feel like it was just yesterday. We were sneaking Nutella at World Championships, trying to hide it from everyone, and just having, like, these girl, girls' nights. But it's been the greatest, I don't know, some of the greatest memories of my entire life. And it's always such an honor to be back here. So thank you. Thank you to my new family that's here. My husband couldn't make it, but he's on FaceTime right now watching. Um, hey. Uh, so thank you. Um, this is an incredible honor. So thank you guys. Right. Just want to bring up that Hershey's does have their brand of Nutella, too. Uh, just don't want to offend anybody. Uh, our next inductee, these guys made history at the 2016 Olympic Games. It was unbelievable to watch them all. It's the Team Final Five. 
2016 U.S. Women's Gold Medal Olympic Team, the Final Five. The 2016 U.S. Women's Gymnastics Olympic Team made U.S. history at the Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro by winning the USA's second straight Olympic team gold, a first for the United States and its third overall. The team posted the highest score on each of the four apparatus to secure the dominant victory, beating Russia by more than eight points. In total, the women brought home nine medals, four gold, four silver, and one bronze, the most women's gymnastics Olympic medals won by a single country since the Soviet Union claimed 10 medals in the 1972 Olympics. The team members included Simone Biles, Gabrielle Douglas, Lauren Hernandez, Madison Koshin, and Alexandra Raisman. Ladies and gentlemen, the final five. Thank you for this incredible honor. Um, whenever, you know, we get to be here for things like this, I always think back, you know, to when we were little. Um, I remember, you know, watching the Olympic Games, and, you know, I know we were all watching the Olympic Games as kids and, and hoping that we would one day be there too. And, um, you know, those daydreams throughout our life fueled us during our toughest times in our hardest days of training. Um, for a lot of people, you know, gymnastics is something to watch every four years. They see us hitting routine after routine and smiling, standing on the podium. But what they don't see is what it took to get there. All of the hard work, all the hours of training, and how our world revolved around our sport 24-7. While Rio was an amazing success, getting there was very challenging for the five of us, and we worked so hard to get there. I know we are thankful for each other, our coaches, our families, and everyone who helped us along the way. It takes a village. To Simone, Lori, Madison, and Gabby, I think of you as sisters and am proud to share the moniker, the final five with you. The times when we all come together are always pinch me moments. Our sport is very unique because it is both a team sport and an individual sport. I think we did a great job competing as a team, but also against each other over the years. We spent so much time together training through the ups and the downs, and because of that, we have a bond that we will share forever. To the coaches, Mihai and Sylvie, Laurent and Cecile, Amy, Maggie, and Christian. Very few people truly understand the commitment that it takes to be an elite athlete, but you all do. You understand everything we went through because you stayed by our sides to help us get through every single day. And you pushed us to be the best gymnasts we could possibly be. Thank you for helping us achieve our dreams. We all did it together. I also want to thank the fans for the enormous amount of support throughout our careers. We are so lucky to have such wonderful fans who encourage us constantly. No matter your level in the sport, we can all agree that gymnastics teaches you hard work, strength of character, perseverance, confidence to take on many challenges, and so much more. We are thankful for these gifts the sport has given us and appreciate very much being honored here today. But it's also important to take a moment to recognize that winning also isn't everything. We must remember 
that protecting athletes comes first and doing right by athletes is always the priority. I love our sport so much and I want the best for it. Thank you so much for honoring us and congrats to the other inductees. Thank you. All right, if you guys could stay up here and if we can invite all the other um, inductees today back up to the stage for a big picture. And we'd like to thank everybody for coming tonight. We want to congratulate everybody one more time and let's have a great competition this afternoon if you're going for the men and good luck to the women tomorrow. And thanks for celebrating the greatest sport in the world, gymnastics, everybody. Thank you.